Hello and welcome to the Media Hind Show. My name is Andre. Today we're continuing on our topic of Pokemon, uh, basically Ash's team and what level they are. Turn off that fan there. So yeah, we're basically just looking at um, basically what level Ash's Pokemon have reached. Um, there was a bit of a hiatus on it there, but um, due to work schedules, but I'm off today, so I figured why not continue on? It's a nice little fun series and it's really the one I'm enjoying the most at the minute taking a break from the games uh, a couple more should be going up soon but anyway let's continue on last time we left off we were in the middle of the tentacool and tentacruel episode that was number 18 uh, Ash according to what we have looked at has let's see what's Pokedex scan 23 seen 553 and only caught nine. Uh, he has three badges, uh, had 19 trainer battles, five gym battles, and overall has had 577 fights. Well, battles, but out of official trainer and gym badge battles, he's had 25 wins, three losses, and four ties. So he's had a 78% win ratio, which isn't too bad, you know for as much stick as we give him at the start. Then again, he doesn't battle all that often, so it's arguable. I have his items sitting there just showing you what he's carrying, but it's not really important yet. Badges. As you can see, I'm planning to go for each of them, but uh, we're starting out pretty simple at the minute. Uh, book deck. So we have Pikachu at this point, who is level 21. Uh, any natures and stuff is really just guesstimates, but it's the best we got. And I have the list of attacks. Thundershock, Thunderbolt, and Quick Attack are the only attacks he ever uses. Is it any wonder, growing up, though, I know when I played Pokemon Red, Blue, Red, basically up until I learned really about competitive battle, the only attacks I ever chose were damage-based ones. But in the anime, that's almost all that they ever do. Oh, hi, Windows. Goodbye, Windows. So, yes, uh, Pikachu's been... Well, he's had a 13 wins, 5 losses, and 2 draws. 65% battle success. Uh, we've estimated him to be level 21, and his stats are as follows. 51 HP, 30 attack, 30 defense, 32 special, 32 special defense, and 50 free speed. Most of his IVs are pretty good, but that sort of comes with being a starter. And how successful it is from working out all this stuff. Um, EV wise, like it's mostly speed that he's worked up, but we'll see as we continue how much more he gets in. We know Ash isn't very good at his whole competitive training. Next up in Ash's roster is Butterfree at level 14. So you'll find that from Pikachu on, or after Pikachu, all those other Pokemon kind of don't seem well trained. Uh, he kind of focuses a lot on Pikachu. And it's even brought up again later on in the series when, uh, was it the Pokemon Corral, whatever it was, where Gary's commenting, I don't need the windows, thank you, commenting about how Ash only sticks to the same Pokemon, and Misty agrees. Butterfree has Tackle, Sleep Powder, Stun Spore, and Gust, seven wins, four losses, one draw. And THP 44, attack 20, defense 23, special attack 34, special defense 32, and 31 speed. Not too bad, I guess. Next up's Pidgeotto, who used to be Ash's physical weakest Pokemon. Oh, let's get that back in. Um, it's level 13, quick attack, wing attack, whirlwind gust, uh, six wins, five losses, and one draw. Uh, 43 HP, 24 attack, 20 defense special, and 26 uh, speed. Wish he would use more. Then we have Bulbasaur at level 15. Uh, tackle, Growl, Fine Whip, Lead Seed, 3 wins, 1 loss. Uh, 41 HP, 22 attack, 21 defense, 26 special, and 21 speed. He also has Charmander at level 11. Fine, change my color scheme. I don't know, sometimes it can teach you if it sort of forces Windows to act funny. Turn on 
the final middle. Hopefully it's not too noisy, guys. Apologies for that. Computer is on the fritz and needs to really be rebuilt from the ground up, but I don't have that money. So Charmander level 11, uh, Scratch, Amber, and Growl, four wins. It has the most successful ratio, 100% victories. 31 HP, 19 attack, 16 defense, 22 special, 17 special defense, and 22 speed. Then we have Squirtle, the newest member on Ash's team. It is level 10. Uh, tackle, withdraw, water gun. Uh, two wins. Uh, 30 HP, 16 attack, 20 defense, 17 special attacks, 19 special defense, and 14 speed. Possibly Ash's slowest. Ash also caught Krabby. I don't know why all my things are just that tiny bit over it's a little annoying uh, we figure it's level 20 um, it's been in no battles and really its stats are there 45 HP 50 attack 45 defense 18 special and 28 speed really if he had to use this more it might have been better for him and then we have Radicate. Now he has Radicate only in one episode for trading his Butterfree. It's level 15, high jump kick, which is unbearable. And Hyperfine, one win, one loss. Even though the guy called it a draw, I disagree heavily. Um, and it was pretty fair Radicate. Radicate's really nice really early on for trainers that have only started. It's high attack and high speed. Which really comes in handy with them early fights. It's not so great against Brock, but Misty yeah, Hyperfine usually does quite a bit. Or in the newest game, Supervine. That's half HP on each strike, even if you're a little lower leveled. And Lieutenant Surge, well, Radicate can learn Dig. So there's that. I don't know if it's faster than Raichu. I'm gonna say maybe, but I don't know. Not offhand, I could look it up, but a lot of effort. But let's continue on. So that's Ash and his party. We also have Brock, who is had. Well, you can see here seven wins and one draw. We'll focus just on the wins and losses of the other trainers. He has Onyx at level 15, Geodude level 15, Subat level 12. We have, well, we had Gary Oak, but we know that Squirtle's only level 10 at best. Because Squirtle had to fight that trainer in Freudian Forest. So, uh, uh, we can close out of him. We're not too worried about him at the minute. His will update as time goes. Here's Misty, who has had one loss and one draw in the fight in this show so far. Um, we're in the bit where Horsey's been introduced. Star you level 11, Goldeen level 10, Star me level 13, but she just won't use it for anything normal. And we have Horsey, who's looking like it's a bit weaker than it should be. Oh well. Um, we also have Jesse James and Meowth calculated out because they show up quite a bit. Two wins, six losses, one draw. They are not going to have a high win ratio, but at the same time, they're going to have a surprising one. The minute she just has Atkins. And well, James, six losses, one win. James has had coughing and he has also had Gyarados. Now you notice here I'm using colors to find green is basically active. Very pale green, like in Ash's case for Krabby there, that line color. It is representing that he has it on party. But they're not on party, but he has it, but it's not in his party. It's not an active Pokemon. The blue like that is traded away. And red is an escaped Pokemon. And grey basically is a released. So yes, Gyarados uh, basically broke free. It evolved a level too early, but you know, Team Rocket, Force and Magic Arps to evolve. It's nothing new. It's been in the plot what? Since Gold Silver. Uh it basically summed up a load of other Gyarados, which has resulted in Ash and Misty being... Oh, and Brock. How could I forget Brock? Oh wait, the show did. 
Anyway, guys, let's continue on. We have Meowth, level 11. Um, he's his own trainer as much as he is his own Pokemon. And he has eight, had eight losses. He's had the least success in these endeavors and fights. Not really all that strong. But anyway, we should continue on. Let's see. Last time I left off, we were... Too much of a copyright strike. <sighs> so we know Ash used Pidgeotto. I'm just curious, did I work that out or should I bother? I mightn't bother. I'm gonna skip this one only because I'm not sure where I left off properly. It's been a while. How can it's not gonna make it feel better? Good thing no one else has Pokemon. Except our main heroes, so Squirtle's coming out, Bulbasaur's coming out, Butterfree's coming out, and Pidgeotto. So everyone but Charmander? So, let's see. They're fighting Tentacool and Tentacruel, so... I'm... They're mostly doing a rescue, but... Just making sure the audio is good, yeah. Uh, so they give out what type of IV? Two special defense, so what, tentacles one maybe? Yep, so that's three points for each of them. I could give them more, but it would take too long. Uh, Pikachu. That's special defense, four. So I'm adding three each time. Let's see. Butterfree was sent out. So what? That's four and seventeen is twenty-one. A good test of mana is this. Pidgeotto. Here is free. Bulbasaur. Here is four. And Squirtle. Welcome to the party. Here's free. Right. Now we know Misty's using her Pokemon. Yeah. There's no surprise there. Misty. Star me. Star you. Free. Goldeen. Free. And Star me. Free. Not too bad. It's already had three. So good to see I'm following some logic. <laughs> oh yeah, I also created like an overall sheet just to keep track of basic oh my. to keep track on the basic levels and their average. And they all average out pretty well. Brock and Ash are pretty level. Jim surprisingly is better, but that's only because he had um oh I should change that to Gyarados. But that no longer exists. So that's gone. So yeah, no, they're all pre pretty much on level with each other. Bar Misty, who is exceedingly weak. So let's continue. And Subat. Where are you, Brocco? There you are. Subat, here you go. So... How does. It's a really interesting question. How does Subat hold on to Squirtle? Bulbasaur, they've went to the effort to draw in the vines to wrap around it in a weird way. And Pikachu obviously can fly in Pidgeotto. I suppose we don't question too much. Yep. I suppose I should have counted up all these tentacles actually. Six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <sighs> Am I going to have to multiply this up by 30? And they're all defeated. So I'm going to assume 29 points to each of them then. Because I already added in one tentacle. So you can call me out if you like, but I'm pretty confident that's fair. So 4 and 29 is 33. Set up the things I know in there. It's 50. So let's see. Max. Max value. Maximum is 510. I don't want to cross that threshold then. That's how many EVs left. I should put it in as actually EVs. Just so you know. That's going to have to be copied to everyone now. But it's probably better. Actually caught it yet, so I can't really put it in the green. Let's see. Um, yeah, we worked out the rest of their EVs there. Um, no. Uh. You see, we have to work out then the experience from 29 Tentacle. Pokemon. Saito's AXP Calculator. Hmm. That should be... Oh, stock calculator. Useful, but not what I'm looking. IV Experience Point Guide. And here we go. Average tentacles like level 15. I'm going to presume for all them to be fighting it. Especially Squirtle, I'm going to say 12. I also don't know if that's a real fact, but, you know. Suit Meat. Oh, active Pokemon. Pikachu. Well, 
is it multiplied by 6 then? Yeah, it is. So what? 3, 4, plus that 9. So divide it by 9. Okay. It's 2. So everyone gets 20 experience points. Sure, is 580. So yeah, there is not much in it. Equals that minus 580. Equals that plus 580. So 11 zeros are And 3, 4, 9. Ah, here it is. So Butterfree is leveled up in our calcs um, to level 15. That means... And... medium fast. So we're looking here at, oh, to the next level. Mm -hmm. 721. Yeah, yeah 721. Way to go, Butterfree. So... So that's 599. There we go. Now we've had a level up, so... I guess the stock calculator... Pokemon is Butterfree. Yeah, that one. I believe we made a Timmet, but... Yes, we did. 
characteristic. I don't know. We'll never give it any one of them. Highly persistent. Sure. I don't care for that. Uh, level 15. Oh. So you're level 14. I wonder. Does this help me a little? Yes. 4 4. 20. So apparently I have an impossible speed calculating bit. Ah, oh, cool. Ever zero thirty-six four zero fifty-eight. It did tell us it was impossible, so let's just lower it by one point just to be on the safe side, you know? Because I don't want to have to keep doing this. Four. Fifty. Eight. Okay. Crunch numbers. Oh, you could have been pretty one. Well... Let's try this one. I know I was using this one before. Level 15. Somehow my stats have gone down. I highly doubt it. <sighs> Maybe I've given it the wrong IVs then. Stat up wise for what the hell? Right, 47, 21, 24. See, I know I made mistakes calculating earlier, so I'm gonna guesstimate them up. Hi, balling. Still not great at attack though. At least you can take a bit of a hit. So, okay, next up is Pidgeotto. that minus five is that plus five you know two seven four three don't need that anymore you 
I've leveled up Pidgeotto. Congratulations. Uh, Butterfree. Pidgeotto. A, a, a medium slow leveler. You leveled up twice, you yeah, mick. Hmm. You got a lot, of, a lot of levels to jump. And then... Uh, let's see, how long do I have left? Because I'm trying to keep these relative for about 15 minutes before I move on to the next part. I'm going to have to take a break. Babysitting my daughter today. Babysit and looking after. Yeah, you get it. So let's see. Then equals that plus, oh, not times plus 500. Nine. So that's 15. See, I still think this thing works. I used it before when I was trying to. Okay, so that's what it is. It's just to work out its genes better. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I misunderstood. Cool. What's new? Pidgeotto is now level 15. Your DVs are 31, 31, 22, 11, 24. This time I want to try my hardest to stick to what I said. the thing because it really isn't that important. Bulbasaur you've gone up a level too. So let's calculate where you are. Did you 
is full, but I don't know if I need it. Bulbasaur 15. I suppose you leveled up to 16 there, actually, didn't you? What have I done? Get five. So you've gone up a wee bit. Four, three, two, three, two, 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 eight, two, nine, two, two. Nice. Let's save now too. Charmander, I'm sorry you didn't fight. Equals that minus five. Eight. Equals that plus five. Eight. substantial jumps 19 24 20 23 17 eh, it's okay oh right oh, that's something different I'm working on spoilers um equals that minus five years old equals that plus five eight oh five eight 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 delete uh supat it's a medium fast grower but from stats. See ya. Oh yeah, she's see ya. Dashes, one, two. See ya. And there's Misty. Uh, you're finally getting so much needed love and attention, guys. Yeah. 
is a slow learner. That makes sense. So you've gone to level 12. So much mass. So yeah, you're level 12 now. It's cute how Misty thinks that her Pokemon are stacked. Oh, must be one of them new Ultra Beasts. Yeah, I never finished um, Ultra Sun Ultraman. Chucky. But I did it to myself. Um, I went and sent in every Pokemon I could. I basically bred every Pokemon I could in every other game and just sent them across. And then I sat and trained too many to the point that I just can't be bothered training them. I'll get back to it, though. I was having fun. I just don't have a lot of time these days. 22, 20, 25. Not much of a boost, but sure. You're looking better at least. Yeah, I don't think I changed your IVs because you were all pretty shit. Equals. Minus 5 8 0. Equals. Plus 5 8 0. and Starmie's not much better. Ah, uh, yeah, slow. I love 13, right? suggestion you can give me it and I will try and work it in to the future episodes. So two oh, two attack, two defense, two special, thirty two, two. So you've gone forty two, twenty six, thirty, thirty four, thirty one, and thirty seven. And then we were working at Goldeen. So let's find out what type of learner Goldeen is. Goldeen is a medium fast, and she's level 10. I presume it's a she. So you clearly leveled up to 11. Oh, you got a few levels. Equals that plus three. Seven equals that plus four nine six nine. You're level twelve in that little skit. in the same video and it may be a different part I don't know but I will keep everything going there we go so there's Goldeen so I've worked out these guys I'm still on the same episode we haven't really made an awful lot of them 
big jumps. Misty's plea, the tentacle lose. She does blackface and meets her cousin. Oh, and Misty catches horsey, so sure. We'll make it official. Uh, tab color green. So Misty now has a horsey, which is her weakest. But that's added in here overall. Horsey equals here you are at level nine. No Brock. You gotta keep it up here. And that is my record time, so I shall either see you in the next part or continue this on.